Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first question, Adam Spolin. Hey, Stephen, uh, did James take part in today's practice? Uh, no, he didn't, he didn't uh, take place in today's practice. Um, due to the NBA protocol, he is not able to practice with the rest of the team, but we're expecting him for a individual workout sometime this evening. What do you mean by NBA protocols? Can you elaborate on that? Um, just the rules that the NBA has as far as testing and whatnot. Tim McMahon. Uh, Stephen, you, you mentioned the, uh, the NBA protocols and, you know, James posted pictures of himself partying maskless uh, Friday. What is your understanding of when he might be available to practice and, and what, if any, communication uh, have you had with him? Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry, I got cut yeah. off. James on, on Instagram posted pictures of him partying maskless over the weekend. Um, what is your understanding of when he might be able to practice? What has to take place for him to be cleared to practice with a team? And uh, what, if any, communication have you had with James since, uh, since we last talked to you? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what hoops he has to jump through in order to <laughs> practice with the team. I know he has um, been following the protocol as far as I know, um, but I haven't had communication with him. And um, at some point, like I said, this evening, he's supposed to do an individual workout. And at some point after that, he will be with the team practicing. Jonathan Fagan. Uh, yeah, hi, Coach. Uh, whatever was necessary for James to have made himself available, whatever steps, what are your feelings about that not having been done? And what does that indicate? Uh, we were talking last week with you about what his commitment might be. Uh, does that indicate anything or cause concern about his level of commitment? I wouldn't say it was, it's his level of commitment. Um, I, I would just say, you know, I want him here and I want him to be a big part of what we're doing. And uh, I'm excited to, to coach him and have him be a part of what we just had out there with, with a good practice with a bunch of guys who are working hard um, on both ends of the floor and had a good vibe about him. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to having him here and having him do. Did everyone else participate? Uh, no, uh, PJ Tucker did not participate as well. I saw him this morning. I believe he's getting an individual workout as well at some point, but he did not participate. Thank you. Haley Griffin. Hey coach, I know there's probably only so much you can take away from one practice, but what did you learn about your team today? Oh, <laughs> I learned a lot of good stuff about our group. Uh, we have a hard working group a good a group of guys who listen well, who uh, are pulling for each other. John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins are great vocally. They're both, both very smart. Uh, we're talented. Christian Wood's talent stood out today. Eric Gordon's veteran savvy stood out today. So there's a lot to learn. Um, I'm going to watch the film of practice and kind of get to the details about it. But Every drill was, was good and hard, and uh, there's a lot of good communication out there. And for a first practice, I thought it was very good. Kelly Eco. Hey, Coach, um, just between you and the staff, can you describe what will be the most important part of between now and preseason? Of just getting everybody ready. Yeah, we're, we're treating this situation as from the 6th to the 23rd, right? So we're not really – concentrating so much on the 6th to the 11th, which is our first preseason game. We're thinking about this in the long term. So um, we're really concentrating a lot on the defensive end and uh, making sure that we're being attentive to the details of what we're going to be doing defensively, whether it's playing a little bit more standard or switching. And same thing offensively, just making sure that we're versatile in a bunch of different ways while going at a pace that – make sense that they're not 
um, being confused or, or whatever. And with this kind of ramp up that we've had with the individual workouts going into um, scrimmaging and, and whatnot, the guys have to get in better shape. They just do. So uh, it's going to be a uh, long, we're taking the long game as far as from the 6th to the 23rd. Brian T. Smith. Hey, Stephen, a couple days ago, you said, you know, understandably, you wanted to give James space. Um, and I, I'm sure, you know, no one wants to overreact to one missed team practice. But have you been able to, to have a conversation with him or, or just get a feel, uh, whether, you know, talking to Rafael or, or talking to anyone else in the organization about where things stand with him? And, and th this question is not going to go away. How, how committed he is to being with the Houston Rockets? Yeah, I mean, that's a question you're going to have to ask him when yeah. he gets here. And we're looking forward to having him here and, and get to his individual workout. You know, um, that's the word I've heard through the, yeah. through the pipeline. And um, once he gets here, obviously, the best communication between, for me would be face-to-face -face communication, not text, not phone, not anything else. So um, I'm looking forward to him be, getting here, getting in the building, and then we can talk about what's best. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of a work in progress right now. Thank you. Ali Khan Bajani. Hey, Coach. Um, in recent interviews John Wall did before the season, he, he mentioned improving as a three-level scorer, uh, primarily with pull-up threes and going to his right. How will that allow him to better complement James, DeMarcus, Christian, and others on the team? Well, he's a pass-first guy, so he is uh, a downhill pass-first big point guard who can help the others play well. So really, whoever he's on the floor with is going to play better because he's on the floor. I mean, some of the things that he did today, not just with his gifts of getting into the paint or shooting pull-ups, but his knowledge of the game or the reads that he's making. And, you know, he's always talking to his screeners, whether it was Christian Wood or Cuz today, uh, about what he's looking for and what he wants. So it's very much more than his game that we're looking forward to. It's his smarts and his leadership abilities. Saman Ali. Uh, Steven, you have three players coming off Achilles injuries. Uh, from watching them today, did you get a sense of how they looked and you know where they're at physically? They look good. Uh, our training staff, like I said before, is right at the top of the league as, um, as far as helping guys get back from, from injuries and uh, making sure that we're not putting too much load on them. All three guys look good, but we're monitoring. You know, we really have to make sure that we monitor those guys and do it in a smart way. As I said, this is a long process that we're dealing with. So for one practice or one week to kind of go overboard doesn't make sense. We have to do it in a sensical manner where uh, those guys are taken care of and the performance team can monitor them. Jerome Solomon. Yeah, Coach, I, I know you said that you'd rather have face-to-face -face communication with James as opposed to phone or text, but do you think it's unusual that a head coach would not have talked to his star player before practice was supposed to begin today? Well, there's a lot unusual, you know. There's a lot in this. <laughs> this is what we're going through right now. So there's just a lot. Jonathan Fagan. Uh, yeah, just to follow up a little on John and DeMarcus. Uh, physically, was John, did he show the same kind of speed and explosion um, that, you know, we'd seen a few years ago before the surgeries? And same to a degree with DeMarcus. It's hard to tell just because they're kind of working themselves back into game shape. Uh, they both look good. They, their gates are fine. They're not limping around or, or doing anything like that. Uh, they both look good physically. It's just the conditioning piece that you'll, able to, you'll be able to see that pop. And neither guy has played in such a long time. It might be a little while before we see, like, the old Boogie or the old John Wall. But they both look better than anybody expected them to look today in, uh, in, in the scrimmaging that we did. Is there a plan now for sitting out practice days or back-to-backs, that kind of thing? Do you know how no, often we haven't, talked, we, we haven't talked about that yet. I'm sure there's some sort of plan that we have, but we haven't, we haven't discussed that. We wanted to 
really take this thing day by day and really be intentional about what we get done on each and every day and then go forward. So we, we accomplish what we wanted to accomplish today and then we'll attack tomorrow um, at a later, you know, later today and tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, coach.